Hello, beautiful souls. I hope all is well with you all. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to go back into the narcissist short that you guys saw. Now, unfortunately for us chosen ones, empaths, healers, light workers, if you fit into any of these categories, you are chosen, okay? If you're an empath, healer, light worker, you have the fruit you have the fruit of the spirit you have things within you that others don't and i'm gonna make a video on what is a chosen one and the qualities and the traits of chosen ones but those are that's a brief thing why i go through that whole lineup <laughs> is so when you hear what your trait is called you're like hey okay so let's jump into this video if you are a chosen one a empath a healer a light worker you have ran into a narcissist, unfortunately, in your life, and it's awful. For a lot of us, and you may not even know this, it started from childhood. Your caregiver was probably a narcissist, whether it was your mother or father or both. Now, this is a hard pill to swallow. A lot of people don't want to accept the fact that the person who raised them is a narcissist. But those of us who are truth seekers and we use more logic over our emotions, we have accepted that that mother, that father was a narcissist. For me, that was definitely the case. And then unfortunately, I married a narcissist. And uh, awful, absolutely horrible experience from both my upbringing as well as my marriage. Now... The thing with these narcissists is that they all go about this whole triangle situation. And I know you all, if you are a victim of narcissist abuse, you know all about triangulation. You know about that triangle that they do. Love bombing, devaluing, discard. Now, if you are a child who is raised by a narcissist, then, you know, well, I'm not going to say that because sometimes they will discard you, meaning... They will just upright abandon you. They will make you want to get the hell away from them as much as, as soon as possible and so forth. But mainly this actually goes for like lovers. You'll normally see where they just discard you. They dump you. They break up with you. You're donezo. And they're easily moved on to the next. And the breakup is literally for the most stupidish. Like it's very shallow. It's not. It's not a real reason. But they figured you're no longer of use to them. They look at you as your supply. So, so they look at you as you are supply. So when supply runs out, you're, it's over. It's over. You are with the narcissist sees you as an object. Okay. You will never, anybody out there that's dealing with narcissist abuse, whether it's from a family or a lover or both, like in my instance, you, they never really loved you. They never loved you. Never. Okay. They didn't even like you. They liked how you maybe made them feel. They liked how you love them. The narcissist, one of the narcissists that came in, that was in my life, literally always would tell me, I love how you love me. I love how you love me. But the narcissist never, well, they did tell me they love me, but it wasn't as much as that one phrase of continuously saying, I love how you love me. Because they are incapable of love. It does, it does not matter who they're with. Because your replacement, when they replace you, when they discard of you, they will always replace you. Understand that. There's always two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight other people in the background ready to play their position. Okay? And they don't love any of these people. Your replacement, they don't love them either. They love what they can do. They love the feeling. And the dumber you are, my favorite word, okay? Dumb. <laughs> Timothy, if you're watching this, <laughs> it's my brother in Christ, Tim. He's so funny. He always, like, cracks me up. <laughs> He's like, you always say someone's dumb because it's true. When, when your time is up, 
you will see that these people never, ever gave a damn about you. Their discard is so cold, extremely cold, and it's literally off to the next, literally. Okay, and what I was saying, I lost, a, I lost my train of thought for a second, but the dumber you are, the longer you will be with the narcissist. The dumber you are and the weaker you are, you will be with that narcissist for the long term. But it will never just be you. No. They're not, they're not faithful people. They never will be. They don't. Again, they don't have the capability of caring morals because they don't even believe in those. They don't care. They're literally shells of a, of a human, of a, of a person. They're, they're walking demons in the flesh. That's the truth. They are walking demons in the flesh. And so you have to understand that there's no winning with these, with, with these entities, okay? There's no winning with them. And the sad part is that they know how to wear a mask so well that by the time you figure them out, you're already in love with them. You know? Like I said, as far as love is, as far as when you are being raised by one, that can be even worse because, again, that's your caregiver, that's your mother, that's your father. And so you will try over and over and over and over to love these type of individuals. You, would, you will think that by me giving more of me and just loving more and just loving more and just being there more, is going to get them to finally realize how much you love them and to get them to break out of this bad habit of being dark or cold or liars or cheaters or whatever uh, cycle they have you continuously going through. Because that's the thing with narcissists. They never, ever, ever grow. They are permanently stuck. They are stunted. Whatever age they got hurt at, whether that's 8, 9, 12, 16, that is where they are permanently at. They could be 54 on their driver's license, but if they got hurt and stunted at age 16, you are with a 16-year-old boy in a 54-year-old man's body. If your mother or father is a narcissist, you are dealing with a 10-year-old in a 60-year-old's body. That is depressing. That is ridiculous. And people will try to excuse this nasty behavior, especially enablers, whether it's in the family or friends or whoever. They will try to give the narcissist some sort of sympathy to say, well, they were hurt. Well, they went through so much. Well, you know, hurt people hurt people. Win, 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 win. Yeah, that's all good and shit when I'm broken and I'm and I'm and again I'm on the dummy I'm wearing my dummy cap. But when I glow up, when I grow up, when I learn, when I do my research, when I've done my inner work, when I know that even toxic behaviors that I've had that I could no longer do these things and I needed to change. If I am if I'm gonna hold myself accountable and not give myself slack, do you really think I'm gonna give this person, this demon slack or any type of empathy anymore hell no hell no we've all been hurt deal with it get help and grow all that help hurt people hurt people sh yeah, so all that hurt people hurt people sh like i was just saying like that that that's an excuse for me Again, I've, I've grown to be very no-nonsense because I encountered narcissists. And once I realized what I was dealing with, because I'm just like, what, at first, before I realized who these demons were, I'm like, what the, f like, what's really wrong with these people? And then they, and then they have such a, they, they, they mess with your mental, okay? That's psychology. That's why learning psychology is so important. Because these narcissists, they know what they're doing. A lot of them know what they're doing. It's rare that some narcissists might not know that they're really sick in the membrane, but most of them, they know. And they want to ruin you. They want to destroy you. They want you to become bitter, miserable, and nasty like them. So they're going to try to ruin you as, as much as possible. And it's sick. It's so sick.
but I don't make excuses for people. And becoming no nonsense definitely was from being hurt by narcissists. And unfortunately, chosen ones, you're going to attract them. But that's why discernment and learning, knowledge, research, asking God for help, all of these things are vital so that when they come your way, you're able to see that a mile away. People that are not emotionally mature should never be a turn on for you. And I'm going to make another video. Probably later today, I'm going to make a video on what role you took in participating in a lot of people hurting you. Because we have to also take accountability in a good, healthy way so that we avoid getting hurt by these same monsters in the future. Again, God, the universe, they will, it will continue to send you that same lesson through different people. It happened through my mom. It happened through my ex-husband. And then it happened to another guy I was talking to. And literally, that, that narcissist spirit was like, do, 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 do. And again, I had to learn. So I didn't have to keep getting hurt over and over again. Again, that spirit is the same. It just wears a different face. It just wears a different mask. But you have to learn. And again, they love your light. They love how pure you are. They love how loving you are. They love how amazing you are. But that's also the reason why they hate you. And this also goes for your frenemies, your enemies. All of them are all in, the, in that same camp. The narcissists, your enemies, the frenemies, all of that. They love how amazing you are, but they also hate you for it. So understand, learn who you are. You are God's chosen. You are made in his image and you are lovely and because of that you're going to attract dark energy but don't entertain and i'm going to keep pushing out these videos because it's going to help somebody i i wish i had me and me so that's why i'm doing these videos i feel led to do these videos all types of videos because i've i've been through a hell of a lot and i'm finally at that place of peace i'm finally rid of all the narcissists that i had in my life and I feel sorry for any stupid narcissist in the future who thinks they're going to come across my path and gain type of reaction or something because I'll be the first to put you in your place. Period. Eh, period. Because I don't play. <laughs> I don't play. And so I'm, I'm, in a sense, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for my encounter with these disgusting narcissists because it taught me a lot about myself. And like I said, I'm going to go into that in the other video of taking taking accountability of why you attracted these dark entities but i'm gonna close this up for now i love you all so much i again i hope you all enjoyed your thanksgiving your holiday how you like to celebrate and get down for those of us who may not have been as close with our family i hope you still found some type of comfort in celebrating with someone or you know if you just even if you had to turn it by yourself okay guess what you're never alone because God is always with you. So long as you made it to see another day, keep going. All right. I will be back in another video. I love you all so much. God loves you even more. Keep your head up and I will see you soon.